morning. It's my honor and privilege uh, to be here at the Exchange for Media Pitch BFSI Marketing Summit and Awards. It's my special pleasure to uh, welcome our keynote speaker, a tall business leader and entrepreneur, and a very compassionate individual and leader, Mr. V. Vaidyanathan, who's the MD and CEO of IDFC First Bank. And in a very short span of four and a half years, he's built his bank uh, to a level where he's on his way to build a truly world-class bank, as he keeps saying. Please give Mr. Vaidyanathan a big round of applause. Uh, I'm primarily here at this event for him because I live in Delhi. And I'd like to be at all E4M events, but I'm not able to be here. Uh, I want to keep it short. I want to keep to his time, 11.20, he has to speak. I just want to say that uh, as I was preparing uh, for today's session with him and what I'd say in the morning, um, I thought of two things. One, today is the World Mental Health Day. Uh, and I think to achieve anything in life, having a cheerful disposition, and uh, being at peace with your thoughts and accepting world, life and world as it is, is key. India is a very large country, 1.45 uh, billion people. Uh, it is also the most depressed country, sorry, I have to say, because we are a large number, so numbers would be. So I just want to say that I was with a very important political leader who uh, is the governor of a state and he's a friend of mine. And I was with him on Sunday, and he said some to me, something to me which over the last nine days has been resonating with me. And he said he met uh, Morari Bapu, sir. And I'd say it in Hindi because that's how it carries impact. And I'll, he said, Morari, he said, if you're talking about Hindu dharma and Sanatan and, you know, the ethos of India. And he said, uh, Morari Bapu said to me that the, his guiding motto in life is, he said, accept things as you are, and once you accept them, you'll be mentally at peace. It, it sounds very simple. Uh, second thing I wanted to talk to you about was the fact that uh, India is growing. Uh, we know from all statistics that India is f f the fastest growing economy in the world. Uh, and uh, the digital economy is also growing. Uh, the digital public infrastructure that has been built in the last eight, 10 years uh, has really seen that the bottom of the pyramid gets integrated into the digital economy. Uh, with the integration of the bottom of the pyramid in the digital economy, um, the BFSI segment is growing. In future, uh, there would be no distinction between what is a bank, what we've known traditionally as a bank, what is a financial services organization, uh, and what are neo banks or fintechs as we call them. I think in future all these lines will blur. Just to give you a d data point, Mr. Uh, Vedanathan in every speech he does, his theme is how India's un you know, retail penetration is still very low and as it grows, which it is growing, uh, the financial services, will grow. My friend Mr. Kakkad is there. I called him last night for data and I'm going to use the data that you shared with me. Uh, the money in FDs and savings and current accounts in India is currently rupees 181 trillion. Um, and you know, India's total GDP in 2122 was 234 trillion. So out of the 234 trillion, Mr. Vaidhanathan, 181 trillion is locked in um, savings and current accounts. FDs. So really, India is a, uh, you know, so there is a segue for life insurance and mutual fund companies to kind of dip into that. So I think uh, also if you look at state-wise uh, uh, bank deposits, you know, there are certain states that do much better than others. Uh, I also want to say that um, traditionally you've all grown up thinking that real estate gives fantastic returns. Uh, but data shows us that equity is by far the best uh, return on investment. Uh, even, even gold uh, has given better returns than real estate. It's data, right? So I just want to say that from a banking BFSI standpoint, uh, I think the next decade uh, would be a huge decade. Uh, and also a study conducted in Canada by CIRANO, a network of researchers, 
on the value of long-term financial advice revealed that investors who engage with a financial advisor or any form of advice uh, for four to eight, six years uh, reported almost a 60% increase on their wealth over and above unadvised investors. So the BFSI segment, again, uh, I don't want to go into the uh, equity market, we'll stick to BFSI, but today there are financial influencers who don't have SEBI license, you know, who are in some way moving the market. So be careful about that, use, uh, use uh, advisors that are bona fide and who have high integrity. I just want to say that this is an exchange for media BFSI summit. Mr. Vedanathan was asking me what is the forum. So I told him in exchange for media while for the last 23 years we've been reporting on marketing, advertising, media, communication. We are now segmenting, sub-segmenting. Um, uh, and that's why BFSI, which is a, such a big segment of business, is growing. We're also lucky to have Mr. Vedanathan speak to us because in a very short span of time, He's built a bank uh, with very solid fundamentals, and I don't invest in stock market, but my wife does. A year back, uh, she, uh, I called her because I met some people, not Mr. Vedanathan, in Bombay, and they said, buy IDFC Bank, and it, uh, whatever little I know of the bank, and I know of Mr. Vedanathan, because a leader does have a uh, huge role to play in the organization, especially in a sensitive and a very important sector like banking where you're dealing with other people's money. So I just want to say that we look forward to a day of deliberations. In the evening, we also have the first edition of the E4MF, um, BFSI Marketing Awards. Uh, uh, the awards were decided by a jury. I want to end by saying the two things are very important. I came last night because I wanted to catch up on my sleep. Uh, and I got a little delayed in between a call of friends uh, mother was scammed of some money. She ended up depositing 45 lakhs in a uh, fishing account. And I called Mr. Kakar to find out more information on that and how we can help her. But I want to say that the most important pillar for mental health is good quality sleep. If you sleep well, you'll eat well, you'll think well, you'll be kinder to yourself and you'll be kinder to others. So whatever you do, I know you're pursuing your dreams, you're pursuing your passion. Sleep for eight, nine hours. I think you'll do well in every part of your life. I think uh, I read this book many, many years back um, by Matthew Walker called Why We Sleep. And I read it about 10 days back again. I can tell you while food, nutrition, and movement, which is exercise, are very integral to heart and to the health of the body, uh, the most important fundamental pillar is sleep. So don't compromise on your sleep. You will be kinder to yourself and to everyone uh, while you pursue your dreams. All the best, and uh, we look forward to a day of engaging conversations on the BFSI sector and the trends in marketing and communication in the BFSI marketing domain. Thank you. God bless you.